recognize Ms. Takuda from Hawaii for five minutes of questions. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The entire premise of this hearing is the erosion of the doctor-patient relationship as a result of politicians telling doctors how they should treat their patients. So let's talk about that. It is truly hypocritical that my Republican colleagues are convening a hearing on government overreach into the doctor-patient relationship when their party is literally writing the playbook across our country on how to do exactly that, all while endangering the lives of 25 million women by denying them access to abortions and forcing doctors to break their Hippocratic oath to do no harm when government denies them the ability to provide their patients with the care and treatment they need. Since the right-wing majority of the Supreme Court overturned Roe, extreme Republican lawmakers have been tripping over themselves to pass dangerous bans and restrictions, defying the will of the majority of Americans. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and its over 57,000 members, abortion is an essential component of women's health care. Abortion is health care. When we criminalize, excuse me, Mr. Chair, I would like some the ability to answer my question line, when we criminalize health care, undermine a patient's ability. Thank you very much. Please, we'll have order, and Thank I you. will expect that Ms. Kuda has her right to make her comments. And I, and everyone I appreciate will get their time. Thank you. I hope so. When we criminalize health care, undermine a patient's ability to access health care, tell doctors how they should and should not treat their patients, we have failed. Dr. Chain, yes or no? Do abortion bans undermine and erode the doctor-patient relationship? Yes. Since Dobbs took effect, we have heard horrific stories of patients enduring life-threatening situations and unthinkable emotional trauma before doctors felt they could legally provide care. The far rights warn abortion is a direct attack on one in every four women in the United States that have received abortion care and an assault and infringement on every single person's ability to obtain the health care they need in consultation with their health care providers. And these draconian bans have devastating consequences on all of our communities. Longitudinal studies have shown us that denying access to abortion care increased household poverty, subjected individuals to long-term financial distress, bankruptcies, and even evictions. Women denied this most basic health care. We're often more likely to stay in violent relationships, we're often left raising their children alone, and in the most tragic cases, suffered serious health problems and life-threatening complications. Dr. Shane, simple yes or no, does banning basic health care, such as abortion care, harm patients? Yes. When abortion is banned, it severely limits a provider's ability to provide their patients with timely, high-quality access to care. It directly undermines and erodes the relationship between patients and medical professionals, and even worse, puts patients' lives at risk. Dr. Shane, do these consequences pose an even greater threat to the doctor-patient relationship than pandemic-era public health policies like COVID-19 vaccine requirements? Yes, they absolutely do. As we see a rise even right now in COVID cases throughout our country and even in the halls of Congress, I urge my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to think long and hard about this subcommittee's priorities. We've spent the last two hours discussing baseless, hypocritical allegations of interference in the doctor-patient relationship during the pandemic. All the while, we have Republicans systemically damaging the doctor-patient relationship by criminalizing basic reproductive health care and inflicting harm on millions of women across our country. I yield back. 